my family didn't know really what is dance. So they led me to try a lot of different dance schools and different styles. And uh, I went to the National, Finnish National Ballet School to do the dance education because my mom say it's important that I have some paper. <laughs> But now I have been interesting, like uh, how I can use the knowledge what I have from the, when I was a kid, how I can bring it back and to maybe to dive in from the different perspective. Somehow I'm trying with my work to be honest for the moment, and this way it's bringing the vulner vulnerability <laughs> there uh, and not be scared to show it. Of course, I don't have maybe the same condition and maybe that can be also my choreographic tool to uh, communicate with the audience better because we all have this vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe 10 or 13 years old. And I was uh, making birthday for me, and uh, I was inviting all my school friends to come to celebrate with me. I was making like a playlist for the best dance party. We was in our garden, and we asked all the people to go like into circle. I was in the middle, and I put the music on, and I was starting to dance. No one of them came to dance. I'm searching the community and that we can have the, not the same situation, but somehow where I feel comfortable and the audience would join. I wanted to questioning when you are like 10 years old and you are 16 and then it's me, 34 years old. <laughs> How our dreams will change when you are young, you have this thing that, oh, I want to be ballet dancer, or I just want to be a dancer. And then when you are maybe 16, you come teenager, you start to be more aware how you look, and also the pressure is coming from, from outside, that you start to lose your dreams. And normally when you are 30 or 50 years old, you start to forget the dreams, and the, you feel that the dreams can be stupid. <laughs> and I think it's important that the adults go back and think what was our dreams and can we somehow modify our dreams that our dreams come through. This way I try to that my performance can communicate and wake up the thoughts and the dreams. What is today's disco dance? It's not anymore same when I was dancing that, uh, like say, 20 years ago. So it's interesting to go there at the moment and be in the present. <laughs> and then to see, okay, today's disco dance is this. How I can maybe a little bit twist it and present it differently. What is the costumes, for example? How they have been designed? Uh, and how it can be most effective for the audience. All these small, small details is the importance of this specific dance style. Young people, they give hope for us and also they give the energy. When we start to lose, we start to feel tired and we feel like, okay, we cannot dance anymore. But when they come and they show they, what they can do, they, it will give us more energy. This 
performance, I wanted to find, can I bring this competition dancing back to the social dancing? Can, can we present these super talented kids to dance again like uh, human beings, like uh, just a normal, like a uh, school disco feeling? <laughs> Dance is it's like uh, it's guiding the audience to some kind of uh, dream world or some, there is something magic what is happening in there. 